Hi, Don Campbell here from Expand to Web, and I want to take you on a quick tour of the new changes that Facebook has made to their pages, to business pages. The, um, they've added the timeline capability that you may have seen in personal profiles, and they're going to switch over to that for all pages on March 30th, but they're giving you a chance to preview it now and switch your page over early so that you can get everything right. The other thing I wanted to show in this video is how the small biz theme Facebook app works with the new Facebook timeline. So let's take a look at the timeline. Here you see Coca-Cola's Facebook page. And the first thing you'll notice on here is this, this gorgeous cover image here right on the top. Um, and this is one of the new things in the Facebook timeline is this ability to set this cover image and, and a new size for the profile image too. And you'll see a lot of sites are being clever and they're kind of making an interplay between these two images. But that's one of the things. The other thing you'll notice is that there's no default welcome page anymore. So you cannot set a page that your first time visitors will go to automatically anymore. They're just going to come to this and the wall, which is what used to be called the wall, is now the timeline and it looks a little different. You'll see that the tabs have been moved over from the left and now they're, they're views or app views here that are featured right under the cover image. And you can have control over the graphics on these too, which is kind of nice. You can make these like a little call to action or make them something, something interesting. When people click on them, you can take people to custom page content. So you can still control, you can still have custom pages on Facebook, but it works a little differently in terms of how you access those. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll also see sort of like a new format for the way content flows through the timeline. You can see that this particular piece of content was pinned so that it stays um, featured on the wall for or on this area for seven days and then you can do other types of um, of things with this too so uh, you can set milestones and, and you can feature content in different ways uh, and you can kind of go back in time and see what happens so interesting stuff but let's get into what you can do with your page on this so I'm gonna take a look at uh, a fictitious company um, this is uh, called Central Auto Repair here you see the Central Auto Repair Facebook page, which is pretty basic, right? They haven't really done anything. It's just been converted over to the timeline view, but there's no cover image, no profile image, and the app tabs uh, are not have not been customized. So let's go through and see how that all works. If you're using the small biz theme, everything will still work. I'll take I want to show you something real quick. This is a small biz website for Central Auto Repair. And the content and everything that you've done here will still work, no problem, with the new timeline. Uh, but I do want to just kind of go through and show you how to create custom page content uh, for Facebook using the Small Biz theme. First thing I'm going to do when I'm in WordPress is go to Appearance, Small Biz Options. And when I scroll down here to the Facebook section, you'll see there are really three steps here. The first is to create your Facebook page. And we've done that. We take a look here. We have a Facebook page. It's pretty generic. Uh, we've got a couple photos in there, uh, but not much else. Okay, um, so that part's done. Now the second part is to create pages in um, in the small biz theme in WordPress. Actually, is to create pages in WordPress that you want to display on your Facebook page. We're not going to show our whole website on the Facebook page, right? We're just going to show some strategic pages out there, and then we can manage that content right from within WordPress using the Facebook app that comes with Small Biz. So how do we do that? First we go to Pages. Now I've already created a couple of pages. I'm going to show you how these work. I have a page that's a Facebook reveal page and then a regular Facebook page. I'm going to go in and edit this and you'll see that this page is just some basic information. It's some information about my business and if I preview this in WordPress you'll see what it looks like. It's been formatted for a certain width to show up in the Facebook page. So here's a little introduction page. But what we want to do first is take them to a page that asks them to like us before they get to see the rest of the content. This is also called reveal unlike or like gating. So we're going to create that page over here. And that one's called Facebook reveal page. We'll preview that one. You can see it's a nice image with an arrow pointing up to the like button. Uh, once it's embedded in the Facebook page. Great. So now we've got these two pages. And by the way, when these pages were created, all we did was choose from um, underneath the template. We, choo we chose the Facebook page template. In this case, 
This is the Facebook reveal page. The other page was the Facebook page with the menu, okay? So that's how you create these. Now, once these pages are created, okay, there's a couple things we need to do. We need to create a menu if we want the menu to show up. I want to show you an example of a site that does this. Um, here is a site that was created. This is a Facebook page, and they're using the, the Small Biz Facebook app to manage it. And this menu here is available where I can cruise through and change pages and do different things. So you can create a custom menu that's just going to show up in your Facebook page. It's not going to affect the rest of your website. And that's what we're doing here. We're going to go here to Menus. And here, if you have the Small Biz theme installed, you'll see that there's um, there are different menus. We've created a Facebook menu, there's a main menu, and a mobile menu. This is just WordPress's menu creation capability here. Over on the left is where you choose which one menu to apply to your main website, to your Facebook page, or to your mobile site. So here we have a Facebook menu where we've created it, and it's got those two Facebook pages on it. All right, so that's great. Now that was step number two. We've got our pages and menus created that we want. So now we know what content we want to show up on Facebook. Okay, go back to small biz options here. And I'm going to go down to Facebook and I'm going to launch the Facebook app that comes with small biz. And this is going to allow us to set it up. Okay, so I'm going to click here to launch it. It takes us to a set of screens in Facebook to install the Facebook app. What this is going to do is it's going to allow the Facebook, the Small Biz app to create a page tab for you on your uh, Facebook page, all right? So I'm gonna say allow, and then it's gonna come through and say which page do you wanna apply this to? And In this case, we're going to go to the Central Auto Repair page and install it there and add this to it. Now you're gonna see it here. It's right here featured in one of the app tabs. I'm gonna click on it and it's going to ask me okay what page do you want to display to people who have not liked your page yet and then which page do you want to display once they've liked it so all I need to do now is go back to my small biz theme and get those URLs so I'm going to go to pages and this is the Facebook reveal page so that's the one I want to show to people who have not liked the site yet right so I'm going to go back here to central auto repair in the app and say this is the one I want to show for people who have not liked it. Now I'm going back to my pages again and I want to view my regular Facebook page. Grab that URL and just drop that in here. This is the page I want to show once people have liked the page. So this is the page for fans and I'm going to save it. Alright, that is all. So now when I go back to the site, if I click here, it's going to show me, because I've already liked the page, it's going to show me this one. Now if I unlike the page, I'm going to go back and click that again and show you that it's going to come through and say, it's going to have the little thing on there that says, hey, like our page. I click like, and then it refreshes and brings me to the, the page after I've liked it. So pretty easy to set up. Everything's ready to go. What's cool now is I can edit this content right from within WordPress. So I can go back here and I can edit these pages inside of WordPress and those changes will show up directly on my Facebook page. So now that we've got everything going with the small biz theme, let's make some changes to this site, right? So let's add the new cover image and the new profile picture. Uh, it's very easy to do. I'm an admin for this page, okay? I'm gonna go add a cover image. Now I can choose from my existing photos or I can upload a photo. In this case, I'm going to upload a photo. I've got a few pages here, um, a few graphics that I have made, a cover image right here. Um, and I'm going to add that. And I can reposition it and drag it and save it when I'm ready. So that's going to be our cover photo. And now I'm going to go over to the profile picture. I'm going to upload that one. This one I've got made as well. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. And the image sizes for these so um, I'm going to pull up a, uh, the dimensions of these in just a minute and, and leave you with those. They're also in the blog post related to this, so you can know exactly what size to make these images. Now, there's one more that we want to update, and that's this tab. These tabs now, um, there's an interesting thing here. You can only feature up to four tabs. 
You can have many, many more, but only four can be on the front. And one of those is always your photos and you cannot change that. So you really only have control over three of these that can be seen. If you wanna edit what shows up here or the order, you go over to this little arrow and then you can click edit. And here you can change things. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this one. I'm gonna say edit settings. And I wanna change what it says. Instead of welcome, I want it to say join us. And then I wanna go and change the tab image as well. And I have an image here that I'm going to upload. The dimensions are 111 pixels wide by 74 high. Go ahead and upload that. And then I'll go back here and save my changes. And now you see I've got this nice little call to action button here where it goes in. It still says welcome on it though. I wanna fix that. I don't know why I didn't save my other changes here. Let me edit that. So you join us. And then I'll change the tab name to join us down here. And that gives us a chance to get people to click. And now if they click this, it takes them to this custom set of pages that we've created and we manage within small biz. So that's how it works. Um, some other things you might want to do is you might want to add some milestones and feature and pin certain images. It's kind of nice. Like for example, if I wanted to make sure that this image um, spanned both uh, you know, the whole width, I could do that uh, by starring it, or if I wanted, I could pin it to the top. And what's nice is that, that that this post now will be pinned for seven days, it will stay here no matter what else is coming through uh, on this side, it will stay. Other things you can do are add milestones. Here you can see that we've added a milestone for um, when we rebuilt and a milestone here for when the business opened, the first car repair. So you can do some interesting things to engage your users. All right, so that's it. Um, you know, small biz theme makes it easy to manage this stuff. If you're using the small biz theme and have not converted over to the new timeline, everything works fine. Here's a great example. Here's a site where I have converted over to the new timeline. And I'll show you what happens there. So here I've added a cover. Uh, image, I've added a profile picture, and I've added a little call to action. This takes me to pages managed by the Small Biz app, and you'll see I haven't updated the width, but everything still looks fine. Everything works. Um, now I, ca I can update the width, I just purposely didn't do that. But now Facebook gives you more pixels to work with. Instead of 520 wide, you have actually 780 pixels to work with, so I can widen out this content and do whatever I want. But anyway, that's the deal. Uh, those are the changes. Everything works great with small biz. I recommend that you convert your business pages over to the new timeline now and preview them and get them all working because on March 30th, Facebook's going to make you convert them over. All right. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below.